Welcome to my channel Lakshmi Narayan please subscribe to this channel if you are new to here The 1999 Odisha cyclone was the most intense recorded tropical cyclone in the North Indian Ocean and among the most destructive in the region The 1999 Odisha cyclone organized into a tropical depression in the Andaman Sea on 25th October Though its origins could be traced back to an area of convection in the Sulu Sea four days prior, the disturbance gradually strengthened as it took a west-northwesterly path, reaching cyclonic storm strength the next day. Aided by highly favorable conditions, the storm rapidly intensified, attaining super cyclonic storm intensity on 28th October. before peaking on the next day with winds of 260 km per hour and a record low pressure of 912 mbar the storm maintained this intensity as it made landfall on odisha on 29th october the cyclone steadily weakened due to persistent land interaction and dry air remaining quasi stationary for two days before slowly drifting offshore as a much weaker system the storm dissipated on 4th november over the bay of bengal although its primary effects were felt in a localized area of india the outer fringes of the super cyclone impacted myanmar and bangladesh 10 people were killed in the former while two were killed in the latter by the storm's rain bands the storm was the most severe to strike odisha in the 20th century raking the state and adjacent areas with high storm surge powerful winds and torrential rainfall the storm's impacts exacerbated the damage caused by a very severe cyclone that struck the same region less than 2 weeks earlier the 5 6 meter surge brought water up to 35 km inland carrying along with it coastal debris and inundating towns and villages the surge combined with heavy rains to produce widespread flooding damaging around 1.6 million homes and causing rivers to breach 20005 flood embankments the storm's effects destroyed numerous crops including sugarcane rice and other winter time harvests although estimates of the death toll varied significantly at times suggesting 30000 fatalities the government of india enumerated 9887 fatalities in the country of which a majority were caused by storm surge over 8000 deaths occurred in jagtsingpur The total damage cost of the destruction wrought by the super cyclone amounted to 4.44 billion US dollar. Recovery efforts were extensive following the storm's passage. The government of India allocated 3 billion rupees to the Odisha state government supplementing earlier contributions made towards relief from the earlier cyclone. Various branches of the Indian Armed Forces were dispatched to aid the recovery efforts. Contributions from foreign governments amounted to nearly 13 million US dollar with more than half allocated by the United States. Alongside foreign and domestic government contributions, between 12 and 14 international aid agencies concurrently participated in relief efforts in the storm's aftermath. Although the storm organized into a tropical cyclone in the Andaman Sea. The origins of the 1999 Odisha cyclone can be traced back to an area of convection that began developing in the Sulu Sea on 21st October. Despite some signs of development, wind shear suppressed outflow and prevented any significant organization. Under the steering influence of an upper level ridge to its northeast, Bob 06 began to take a more northwesterly course. The ridge also provided a highly conducive environment for intensification and eventually became positioned atop the strengthening cyclonic storm. 
slowing the cyclone and allowing it to generate good outflow. With these conditions in place, Bob 06 entered a phase of rapid intensification, strengthening faster than climatological rates. Bob 6 strengthened into a severe cyclonic storm at 3. 00 UTC on 27th October and attained very severe cyclonic storm intensity just 9 hours later with the storm centered 650 kilometers south of Chittagong, Bangladesh. And I emerged on visible satellite imagery early on 28th October and at 15 o'clock UTC that day, the IMD classified Bob 6 as a super cyclonic storm the highest rating on the IMD's cyclone scale. Using the Dvorak technique, the IMD estimated that Bob 06 reached its peak intensity three hours later with maximum sustained winds of 260 km per hour. This made Bob 6 the strongest tropical cyclone ever recorded in the North Indian Ocean by pressure with sustained winds at the time matched by only two other known cyclones in the Bay of Bengal. At the time, the 1977 Andhra Pradesh cyclone was the only storm in the region of comparable intensity. Although the storm's organization and appearance deteriorated as it neared land, Bob 6 intensity held steady up until it made landfall on the Odisha coast between Puri and Kendrapara at 6. 00 UTC on 29th October. Rather than moving inland as forecast, the tropical cyclone became quasi-stationary over the coastal Jajpur area as it laid within a weak steering region between two upper-level anticyclones. Remaining situated over land, the storm steadily weakened as it began to advert dry air into its circulation, deteriorating into a cyclonic storm on 30th October. The entraining of dry air limited thunderstorm activity to a single rain band to the system's northeast. Soon, the weakening storm became caught in a metropospheric wind flow, inducing a southward drift that brought Bob 6 back over the Bay of Bengal. The cyclone continued to weaken over water, and the IMD stopped monitoring the storm on 31st October, the JTWC followed suit a day later. The remnant low-pressure system continued to meander around the area for a few more days before eventually dissipating.